typing medium. And that lit the, the factory where it was based, that was at Glaxo up in Montrose. That lit the, their once fire team tackle any incident and uh, hopefully mitigate any damage that was caused before the arrival of the, the local authority brigade. It's now again preserved and uh, the guy who owns it is working hard to actually get it out with all the authentic foam making equipment that it carried in its, in its heyday. Well, Highlands and Islands, as you say, is a, a very, very large area and they are served mostly by volunteer fire units covering their own communities. And this was the concept, the, the larger vehicles really weren't any use in that particular area. So the, the workshops actually purchased these uh, better CF vans here that you can see and they in actual fact uh, built the bodies on them. So these are your mini fire engines that were used by mostly volunteer personnel in the Highlands and Islands area. We have two examples here, and the, one, the, the second one coming around is Billy Towers, now privately owned, although he is a retained firefighter up in Highlands and Islands, but he's come all the way down from Stornoway for this show, so again, a big thank you Billy for coming down. Now we're coming on to more modern stuff, again, this was the, the first of the water tender ladder emergency tenders, which was put on the road by Loading and Borders Brigade. Um, it then left, again you see more locker space on this because as well as carrying firefighting equipment, we now start to carry a whole load of equipment for road rescue use. Um, cutters, spreaders, and in these days even they, they were actually carrying oxy-acetylene cutters. That's been done away with, I hasten to add, but that particular vehicle did have an oxy-acetylene cutting set on it. Not very good if it was a liquor paint, but it would have to it as well. Loading and borders went for Dodge vehicles, as that one is going round. Um, Strathclyde Fire Brigade, they went for Scania's. This is one of the first of the Scania's, which was put on the run back in the 1980s. And again, now carrying full rescue equipment of ladders on the roof. 135 roof ladder, 10 metre ladder, portable pump, main pump, high pressure, pump fitted to the, to the rear of it and also a full range of cutting and spreading tools for road rescue work, which the brigades um, were becoming more and more involved with. And here's a, a later example again from Lothian and Borders of uh, a water tender ladder emergency tender, carrying the full set of equipment. You see the, the locker configurations on these vehicles as we go through time is actually bigger. A lot more space, but a lot more equipment being carried. Again, all these vehicles privately owned now, maintained by their owners, and they're a credit in actual fact to the, to the owners. So this one coming into here is a special one-off only made for the Isle of Arran, again for Strathclyde Fire Brigade, for their volunteer unit. It had to be under the system somebody with a, a normal car driving license back on the roads. But this one served all of its, uh, its time up in Arran and is now coming to preservation. Because as I say, it was a one-off so it will be kept for all time. Whilst Volkswagens have taken off on the ambulance front, it's uh, very seldom you actually see Volkswagen fire engines in this country. Certainly you'll see them in Germany. Now the first of the, again, synonymous name Land Rovers, they're used for everything from the military service and the three services there, and also by the, the ambulance, police, and in this case, the fire service. The first uh, vehicle coming in actual fact was the works fire engine at the Unirail factory at Newbridge, just up the road, a couple of miles from here, which is now long gone. But luckily, the, the vehicle was saved for preservation by Ronnie Rusak, who used to have the, the bridge in. Then we have an ideal little first aid firefighting uh, vehicle, which would be used within the factory and allow the factory fire team to deal with anything or keep anything in check until the arrival of the local authority. First one there was at Newbridge, this one here, the second one coming in here, this was actually based there in Bromsgrove in the West Midlands. Same idea though, a works fire engine to tackle smaller incidents with the, the works fire team and try and keep it in check or, or extinguish it if possible until the arrival of the local authority. So staying with Land Rover, but in this case moving on to the Range Rover, this is a slightly stretched Range Rover, a six-wheel vehicle, which was used extensively by the Royal Air Force and um, the MOD, as it now became, the Defence Fire Service, 
They were normally covered places like helipads and uh, small radar installations, etc. And, uh, and, and were used as first strike vehicles at airports as well. Now a little bit of history, a bit of history lesson for you, to let you know. 20 years ago, this was the standard appliance. You notice no tape, there's no yellow tape on it. That's as, as it would have went on the runner. Scania 82M chassis, now privately owned and put back to as it was when it was put on the road. That was your standard water tender ladder, carrying all the ladders on the top, your road rescue equipment, foam, chemical protection suits, pumps, etc. Second Scania coming in, again quite a historic machine now preserved, or going to be preserved, but this was the last turntable ladder in use in Strathclyde. It was based at Clyde Bank Fire Station. Strathclyde no longer have turntable ladders, they have gone on to a system of hydraulic platforms. So this was the la very last vehicle of that type, as you'll see. That lets firefighters access buildings up to 30 metres in the air, or 100 feet. And either do carry at rescue purposes into the cage, which is slung underneath there, or to produce water as a water tower. And the latest idea now we have coming in here, roughly £600,000 worth of vehicle. Those of you who stay in Perth, this is your new fire engine. And this combines both the pumping appliances on the ground and the aerial capacity of the turntable ladder into one vehicle. So this now can deal with 99% if you like of the types of calls that uh, Teesside are likely to get carrying all the operational equipment that was uh, carried on the, the first two vehicles and still has the facility to put everything up to that height, 28 metres in the air. Again, you're talking about £600,000 here, so it's a fair amount. This is the second vehicle for Tayside, there already is one on the road in Dundee, and they have another one now in order, I hear. So obviously it's been a success. fire engines um, earlier on and I told you about Grampian having the red front and the silver sides. Well Grampian have again bucked the trend in as much as what we have here the Grampian livery now, some of you may be aware, is all white with the yellow flies of tape. The first vehicle coming in actual fact is used to take the 1915 Dennis which came in first. But it's actually an ex-turntable ladder and the chassis has been adapted to take out a primate pickup and they've put the crew bus up on top of it just for demonstration purposes in the arena. That's followed on by, again, quite liberated Scania. This again looks like an operation of lines, but it has now been taken out of commission but it's based in Elgin and is used by the Fire Gadets in the Fire Gadets scheme. And again, they've travelled down here, as they have for several years now, to uh, take part in the take part in the um, exhibition this afternoon. All very keen. The third vehicle coming in here from Grampian is followed by the, the vehicle that it normally carries. It's a pod system in point of fact, the prime mover, head of Scania, in point of view. The prime mover is actually trying to contain, on this occasion, a small Argo cart type vehicle which carries a high pressure fogging system so it's ideal for going an all off road onto uh, the four wheel drive terrain. It can carry the four or five firefighters as the crew. It can access places that obviously the bigger vehicles can't get to. Small tank of water, high pressure fogging unit and enables them to get right into the hut the seat of the fire. Obviously the pod that's carried on this can be exchanged. They have Post pods, chemical instant pods, canteen pods, various other pods that can be loaded onto the prime mover system. That's the system they use in the brigade. Again, not coming on. Once again, again, all in white now. As you can see, the standard water tender ladders. In use up in the Grampian area. Again on the scan chassis. 